Hey guys, so this is going to be re the review of my new favorite TV show, Once Upon a Time. S and this is going to have spoilers, so if you don't want anything spoiled, if you haven't seen the episode or series yet, then just click off of this video because this will have spoilers. So now that that's over with, the ending was so good. Oh my gosh, it was great. Like, okay. My favorite part is in the storybook land when Snow found Prince, like, in the doors, and you're like, you too late. He's like, can I at least say goodbye? And he kisses her, and then everything wakes up. And then, okay, I thought, I thought Mr. Gold was, um, like, I always thought he was, like, had some greater purpose, and, like, he did. But I didn't think, I didn't expect for him to leave Emma down there and, like, Regina. I can't believe they ended up working together. But, um, that was crazy and okay I knew that was gonna be Maleficent when he said put it in, put it in the beast because she's like it's an old friend and there I haven't seen any other beasts than Maleficent so I'm like it has to be Maleficent and then it was Maleficent I'm just like oh, I was right about that pat on the back anyways it was so good um I thought it was so cool when um Rumpelstiltskin was um re was in love with his old, found his old, um, love. I thought he was gonna use the potion at the very end to get his son back. That, that was so sad when he used it. He's like, power, and then you see the queen smiling, so it's like, no! Because, I mean, obviously they can't make the season end, like, all perfect, because then there will be nothing for next season. But still, I hated that, dang it, stupid, evil queen. But, um, I don't know. It was so touching, like, when the curse broke, and then at the very end when they, the curse broke in Storybrooke, how they realized, um, Prince and Snow realized that they were Prince Charming and Snow White, and how they found each other. It was so cute. I want a love story like that. In fact, I'm pretty sure every girl wants a love story like that, where the guy that you like want, comes forward and admits that he loves you. <sighs> so cute. But anyways, I was so, and I was happy when Henry, because I did not want Henry to die. He was one of my favorite characters. Oh my gosh. I am just so sad to have to wait until next year to watch it. This has been one of my favorite new series, because I've always loved fairy tales and stuff like that. I, I don't know, because I have, there are a few episodes I haven't watched, but I want them to bring Rapunzel next season. And Sleeping Beauty, because... I know that they have Maleficent, but I never saw Sleeping Beauty, so that's one thing that I really am looking forward to next season. I want them to bring Rapunzel, though. Oh my gosh, though. It was amazing. I also, oh, I want to see more of Nova. I love Nova. She was one of my favorite characters. And I want, I want to see what, um, August will do, and, um, or Pinocchio, and I want to see what the Mad Hatter will do. I want him to be reunited with his daughter. But, like, Magic... At the very end, magic could be a good or bad thing because magic is what they were lacking. So maybe they could fix everything with magic. But um, from the way it looks, it's bad, but it could also be good. So I don't know. But I'm so excited and I really, I'm going to watch this episode probably tomorrow on my phone. But it was so good and it's my favorite TV show of the moment besides Glee. And I'm going to go now and get ready for bed plan my outfit tomorrow my hair my makeup so I will see you guys and I don't even know why I really filmed this I just was so excited and I love it so much and to be honest it's not a beauty video but who cares this I don't know I just love this I don't have a vlog channel but yeah it's so good and I'm gonna go now enough with my once upon a time rambles so until next time bye